Whoa, look at all the pretty colors and ducks can fly really fast in mine cards. Quack. What's up guys, the Duck Opinion here, and uh, we're doing part, I think this is part five, of our Let's Play Explore the Entire Tutorial World and Just See What's In It, because this is something I never did. I never did this when I played Minecraft for the first time. I immediately jumped into my world and I knew what I was doing. So, we have found the second town. It took me like four videos to actually find the second town, which is right next to the other one, but I explored the opposite way. But as you see, we explored most of the map. In this episode, we're gonna we're going to check this town out, and we're gonna uh, explore the rest of the snow biome and see if there's anything over there. So let's see what's what's over here. I don't know. Is there any items over here? It's a minecart. Why is there a minecart just sitting there? I didn't put that there. Is that an Easter egg right there? There's just a minecart. I didn't put that there whatsoever. I've never made a minecart. So let's check out these houses. Doors are already open. Bed, normal little house. Looks like just a normal, normal little village. Not too shabby. I like it. I can't wait till NPCs and 1.8 are actually in the game. It's gonna be really cool. Just because I love going out and finding NPC villages and just building around them. It's really fun. We're gonna have many let's plays of just that. Oh, so what'd they use for a fireplace? They used that. Did it go up any or is it just... Oh, so I don't know. Every time me and my friends ever make a fireplace like this, it always still lights the entire building on fire. Like when we do fireplaces like this, even if it's not touching any wood, for some reason it still does it. I don't know. So I guess it showed that it, sometimes it can actually work properly. I don't know. What else there be here? There's a farm. I guess they were growing weed at one point. Chop you cows. It's like I want to take the uh, leather now just because it's made for clothes and you can dye it. But that's only for PC. You can't dye the leather in this version. You won't be able to probably ever do it in 360 version. But that's just like the new thing that they're adding to, to, to the PC version that you can actually dye the leather and they turn to clothes instead of armor. And I think that was really cool. If you guys want to check that out, go to my page and look up the latest snapshot for Minecraft PC. And uh, yeah, this is what maybe a little church, man. This, this little town's pretty dinky. It looks like mine. You like build up the tops and you build and make them look really good on the outside. But when it comes to the inside, they have like nothing in there but maybe a bed. It's kind of how I like to do them. So is that it? Hmm. Well, maybe we should have a little fun. You know, I like doing a lot of things when I play Minecraft. And I don't really think this uh, village, to be honest with you, is all that damn fancy. So I think we should burn this damn village down. What do you guys think? You guys think we should burn this bitch down? I think the, uh, the question in theory is happening whether you guys want it to or not. <laughs> this bitch is getting burned down. I mean, this is gonna. I wanted. I wanted to give us a little bit more of a thrill, you know, because these last few episodes, I've just been exploring and rambling, and it might have been a little bit boring. But now, oh yes, the city, my friend, is in flames. What will they do now that the city is in flames? And I used all my flint and steel. So let's see. That city number two that we found, we burned it up in uh, less time than we found it, which, my friends, are a lot more funner than just exploring it. <laughs> There's nothing really here, so let's watch it burn. Looks pretty amazing if you ask me. Walk through the city. I am a zombie. I got to do some chaos. And the city is in ruins. The whole entire town hall is burning down. All the NPC villages, the only thing that will remain is their hard hard cobblestone fills they're all burnt down the whole entire inside of the farm is burning down oh wow there will be nothing left of this farm I love it I, I didn't even really want I didn't really think I was gonna do that but I think that just gave this video kind of a little bit more thrill because I think you guys are probably getting bored just because we've been exploring so much but took a little time out to appreciate some fire gotta take time out to appreciate your fire <laughs> it's one of the funniest things to do is just burn down the entire city and stuff. Hey, I can see my I can see the Minecraft sign from here. Oh, don't worry. When we're done with this, when we're done, we're gonna burn down that damn sign too. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. I, mean, I wanna 
just kind of sit here for a minute and admire this last little part being burnt. Like enjoying this, take like a little second break, sit down. I've been recording this all within a frame of about two hours. And um, I'm going to probably do one more video after this when I make the uh, duck on the sign that I changed in part two. Probably going to do one more video of me doing that. And then I'm going to read all your comments, see what you guys say. And I'm going to go back and get the stuff that we may have missed that are Easter eggs. And that will pretty much be the end of this Let's Play. So, now that everything's burnt down, I sent a text to my girlfriend on the phone. <laughs> we can move on. So, the next thing I want to do in this Let's Play is I want to head off into the snow area after going back to my main area. I love how I burned this down. It's so fucking awesome. Fuck you, second village. So, like I said, I want to go back to the main area and drop all this crap I have off. Then I want to go to the snow area and finally finish clearing out the rest of the map. And then that should be the end of this video. And then we'll do one more video talking about this series and making the big sign say Minecraft on this side and the other side say Duckcraft. So we are back. We are back. So I mean, you guys probably already know, I'm going to end up burning down this whole village and that sign once I make it. It just like has to happen to end this series, you know? It just I just have to burn this village down. That was so awesome. But we will not do it in this part, nor will we do it in the next part. We will do it in the final video, which I'm not going to make yet. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make it say Duckcraft there in the next video. And um, then we're going to wait and see what you guys say. And I'm going to go do all the stuff that you guys recommended me to do. And if there's any Easter eggs I missed, we're going to go check them all out. And then after I got all the Easter eggs and I'm done with this series, which will be in a couple more videos, then I'll burn down the Duckcraft. I will burn down this city, and uh, that'll be the end of this Let's Play. So I'm guessing maybe four more videos, maybe. We'll see what happens. So, wow, I got a lot of shit. <laughs> By the way, that's like the only thing I can think of is I have a lot of shit. I really don't want to spend the next blah blah time just organizing it. Wow. So let's put up that, the ink sacks. Alright, so I got a lot of wool to build that, to build the duck craft sign. It's gonna look very good. That shit up, let me get extra bed. I don't honestly need none of this shit. All this shit can be put up. Okay, I do, however, want a new flint and steel though. You, do I have a flint? No, but I can get one, so it's all good. Alrighty. Again, I went the wrong way again. Dude, I might have a creeper sneak up behind me. You guys tell me how to actually make the doors work properly, but I'm just going to take this annoying sound door off. Stop it. Damn door. So I'm removing you because you a bitch. And we'll just have that one door. That way I can come in and it'll close. And I won't risk everyone's life with a creeper explosion when I'm in the inventory system. <laughs> and then maybe we'll just for kicks and giggles we'll have a back door just in case there is a creeper there and you know what I know I fucked up on that door but you still can't get in even with it how it is so we're leaving it like that and I'm just going to say if that costs me sometime in the future it's going to be really really funny <laughs> so when I wake up we will go exploring we will get a flint for the steel and uh, the exploring will be on the left there to finish up the map. So I agree with the idea that there is gravel everywhere. How do we get a uh, steel? We beat a piece of gravel until it drops us one. This does work. It just takes a, takes a minute. It could happen first try. It could happen 100th try. But I'm sure it will happen soon enough for me to not be frustrated enough I'll just like I'll beat this like on the way to where we're going to get it you know <laughs> and then it'll eventually be what I'm looking for okay let's cross the river so hopefully in the next uh, few minutes here I can actually finish clearing this map hopefully if not we'll do it in the next part when we go spell out the duck craft 
That was pretty exciting, though. I'm still kind of excited over burning down that village. <laughs> oh, I know that's messed up, but it really wasn't no one's village. But it was just, it's just some things in life have to be done. You know what I mean? So I heard there was a sign that said, um, Harold Brian was here. Like, we never found that, so I'm still kind of looking for that. If you guys can leave in the comments and tell me where that was. If you guys can give me coordinates and also tell me if it was, like, at the upper top. Like, give me a position on the map. Is it, like, near in the snow biome at the bottom left? Is that the upper top on the right where the sand is? Try to give me coordinates through the map and coordinates through the, um, through the Y and the X. So let's look around here. I mean, it's all snow. Looks really, really pretty. Let me beat this up. Let me beat this up for a minute. I'm getting hiccups. Look at that. There it is. There's our flint. So now all you have to do is go here and um, get our flint and steel. Where be my steel? Where be my flint and steel? I know you can. There it is. But see, I know you can. I know you can make it of only two. It's not that big a deal. All right, we got our new flint and steel to burn down the stuff in the last episode. So although we're getting prepared way ahead of time, and uh, let's go. I just like having flint and steel with me in general. That's like one of my main things, cause like I, I have a lot of people that leave tree heads in my world, and I can just burn them down really quick with flint and steel, and also use it to kill pigs, so I don't have to actually cook the meat. Saves me time, which I'm gonna do right here, which I've been doing for this entire let's play really. See, when you burn them, if they drop meat when you burn them, it'll be cooked. See, there's two cooked pork chops now. It's fucking smart. I made a few videos on how to do this already, but sometimes you guys don't listen to what I say. Nah, sometimes you guys are just really new here. And I get that. I get you guys are new and hadn't seen everything I've done. But, oh shit, no, I didn't mean to start a forest fire, but shit happens, as they say in France. <laughs> I'm going to throw out this uncooked stuff because I'm not going to bother actually cooking it. Because like I said, I'll just flint and steal these guys. And everything will be alright. But I just started a forest fire. That was not intended. I'm sorry, map. That was not intended to start a forest fire. Not sure how much that was spread, but hopefully it doesn't ruin you too much. Talking to the map as if it was a person. Kind of want to see how that fire spread. I just want to get that last little chunk of that map. So you gotta be careful. I mean, yeah, I mean, I got my put, I got my uh, pork chops cooked, but I sacrificed four trees to do that. Sacrifice four trees that did not have to die to get those cooked pork chops. And you know what? I don't feel the least bit bad for it. <laughs> uh, I do want to collect at least the wood off the ones that burned all the way, and the ones that didn't, I'll just call them unique trees. Like that's right there. That's a unique tree. That's a unique tree. It burned a little bit. Unique tree. New tree. That's a unique tree. And then we got the ones that didn't. I think we're doing a damn good job. And I'm going to burn this one more little piggy and see if I can't start some more forest fires. Because forest fires are fun. What did I tell you about burning those piggies? Like I don't even need any more anymore. Like I don't even need to burn this last piggy. I got meat for days just by making a flint and steel and burning them ahead of times. Don't need to cook it. It's already cooked for me. You know what I mean? It's gangster status. You know, I don't even need to kill this pig. I have enough meat. Glitch. Falling through snow. Glitch. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish clearing this damn map. It's almost done. We seriously just gotta walk a little bit. And then we will have 100% Christopher Columbus this map. <laughs> But all in all, it's a lot of snow on the left side. It has some sand at the top. It has thick forest in the middle. I mean, it's a pretty all right map. You know, I think it's a good starting map. It has all the biomes that would this game start off with. It has all the items that you could possibly use at the start for the tutorial. It has a castle pre-made. If you don't want to make any houses, it has NPC villages that you can expand or blow up. I mean, all in all, I think they did a damn good job using this map for tutorial. I could see a lot of people like, yeah, I like this map. I want to I wanna use it for my world always and forever. Well, is someone doing a parkour challenge here? What's this? <laughs> I don't know. You guys know what I mean when I say parkour challenge? 
It's like, yeah, we aren't dumb. Well, you know, on PC Minecraft, they, they get, um, they use ice, and they put, like, maybe, like, a pit below, and they put something surrounding it so you can't get out, and you break the ice in front of the uh, other teammate and uh, make him fall, and whoever's left there standing who hasn't fallen wins. And that's one of the games, and that's what it kind of looks like. It looks like someone broke the ice and was playing that game. It looks like quite ha-ha funny. But we are almost done clearing this map. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to do one more video before I do the final video. The final video will be me going back and doing the stuff that you guys asked me to check out. That will be the final video. But the next video will be me going and spelling out the word Duckcraft in the uh, remaining area. But we have now 100% with a couple more steps. Let me get those last little two chunks that you probably can't even see because this is an HD. Boom. We have now 100% cleared the map, 100%. I mean, I didn't really explore it that good. I more just cleared the map. But if there's something I missed, I know there's a sign somewhere that says Herobrine was here. I'm not sure where that is. Maybe you guys can just point me in the right direction and I can get over there. And if there is any other Easter egg you guys want me to check out, we will go check out. And um, if you guys want me to go check out the Nether portal, I will do that if I have time after I'm done writing the word duck in the uh, next part. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we cleared the map 100%. We did it Christopher Columbus style. It took us three whole videos to do it, but we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, uh, please rate, comment, and all that great stuff. If you're new here, give me a chance. Subscribe. Give me like a week. Just subscribe to me. See if you like something. And if you don't like what I have to post within a week, then by all means, unsubscribe. And my little subscribers, thank you for watching. As always, give it a thumbs up. Dust can fly. Talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.